Hello, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are going to be looking at the Leatherman Tread, except it's not. This will be the 29N1 multi-tool that, for all intents and purposes, is a Leatherman Tread. From what I understand, this weighs one gram difference. And in some instances, if you get the black oxide version of this, the black oxide version will actually wear better than the Leatherman Tread, the real thing. All right, so if you're worried, did I get the real or fake? Let's take a look at how you can tell the differences. Two quick ways. First of all, the Leatherman Tread will have one ball detent just on the one side. So it will just have one, whereas in the fake has two. That's sort of odd because it seems like that makes sense. So on the fake one, it seems like you actually get more retention, but that's just me. Also, the scribe, this tool right here, it will actually be just normal metal color, just like a uh, off color, whereas in, in the fake, you'll notice it blends in with everything. The same with the black oxide. Leatherman on the block, black oxide, it will be almost like a silver, and then the rest will be the black oxide, whereas in, in the fake, everything will be the same black oxide version. So big news on the Leatherman Tread. The Leatherman Tread came out, and as when it came out, from what I've read, it was over $300. It's been a little while ago. I don't remember its price point exactly, but anyway, it was very expensive. I've seen the watches with the Leatherman Tread, like $500. Crazy expensive, something I would never buy myself. Well, Leatherman, I just looked on their website. They have drastically reduced the Leatherman Tread, and I think... It may be because of this tool right here. Because overseas, they have almost exactly copied the Leatherman Tread. So now the Leatherman Tread itself is down to $82, from over $300 to down to $82 as of tonight. They're trying to sell it out. I guess it's a last chance offer. So keep that in mind. And at the end of this video, you can go ahead and head on over to Leatherman if you so desire. All right, so let's look at this tool set. What are we going to find on the 29-in-1 multi-tool, or essentially a Leatherman Tread, just a lot cheaper? Oh, and as far as price point, these go from $30 on eBay, $40 on Amazon, and only from around $8 to $20 on AliExpress. Uh, just as a reference point, these are very cheap, very affordable, very unique. So one of the first things we have is we have this cutter, we have a SIM card ejector. We have a bottle opener. We have a whole bunch of hex wrenches. We have Phillips screwdrivers. We've got flat screwdrivers. We've got, let's see here. We have got here some more straight screwdrivers. And then check this out, a very, very wide screwdriver as well, which can come in very handy. Again, some more Phillips as well as the scribe. So a very unique tool set. This will not be for everyone. Not everyone will be interested in this. These links are going to be probably a little bit too big for the wrist as they are right now, unless you've got fairly gigantic wrist, which I do not. But they're pretty easy to take apart. You just take the screwdriver, unscrew them, and then you can just take out the ones you don't. So what am I planning to do with this? Well, I'm planning to wear this eventually. And what I'm planning to pair this with is the Casio watch. Now, they make watch link adapters that, to me, make all the sense of the world to actually buy one of these. Now, as a caveat, understand that the watch link adapters usually come at the lowest, around 20 millimeters, unless you buy a very expensive set. These watch link adapters, just the adapter parts, will be around $13 to around $20. And then if you get a, a pretty nice brand from Amazon, it will be about $60 just for the watch link adapters themselves. So that's my plan to add this watch to this. We'll see if it works or not. So make sure you find a watch that has fairly uh, large band. This one is actually too small, so I may have to grind the adapter and see if it works. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.